Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Swill Entertainment Channel. All right, so I'm bringing you guys another episode of Good Old King of Avalon, KOA, my favorite game on the App Store. All right, so we're going to go ahead and deep dive in here, and I've seen that there is an update. Um, I haven't played this game in probably about maybe like a good solid maybe 12 hours or so. But looks like there's an update coming up pretty soon. As always, there's always an update. So let me see. Where is it at? All right, so it's 2.1.0. All right, so in 2.1.0, we have a uh, troop formation feature, uh, translation improvement button, which, I mean, the translation is pretty accurate. I'm not complaining. I mean, I'm, I'm sure th some things don't translate well because things are not grammatically correct, I guess, if you're talking here in the United States or if you're talking to someone probably in maybe Egypt or something like that. The grammar is a little bit different. So, I mean, I guess if they need to do that, they can do that, I guess. Um, let's see, optimizations, they have resource tile display, which I'm not really too sure about that. Um, I guess you can find that. I guess you can find the, I don't know. We'll see what that is. I'm not really sure what that is right now. I'm just speculating right now, but it might be something to where you can actually see the uh, tiles on a map, maybe. That would be great. Um, you have troops load. Um, I guess they can carry more or whatever the case is. I can tell you what they're carrying and whatnot. Um, you have relic cooldown display, hunting monsters mechanism. Now, what they really need to do with the monsters is make it to where you can, if you're looking for like a level five and you're able to, you're able to kill level 17 and you did your little tracker, they should make it to where you can actually go between whatever level you're looking for. Same thing with the resources. If I'm looking for a level seven node resource, I should be able to find level seven node. If I'm looking for a level two, I should be able to find level two. And that's what they need to do. They make it to where you do the little search thing. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second, guys. Um, they got a quick claim button for gifts and mail. Definitely need that because having to click between every little last thing, it does take a, um, a lot of time. Um, it's not bad, but it just takes, you know, a little time. It's a little tedious. And actually, this update comes out tomorrow. I did not know that. All right, so tomorrow. And that's uh, between 6.30 and 8.30 a.m. I'm thinking that's going to be Eastern, but I'm not sure. Um, so that's two hours. So that's really good. I already collected it. Jeez, I wish I can click that again. But yeah, going back to the uh, monster hunting mechanism. Now, I've played a lot of other games similar to this, and they knocked the nails right on the head there. So they already are ahead of the ball game. <clears throat> now, let me go ahead and click my resources. Because I know I'm trying to get my... Uh, stronghold up and I'm probably not gonna be able to make that but I'll show you guys in a moment what I'm doing here all right so what I'm talking about with the monsters what they need to do developers if you guys are watching this I'm gonna go ahead and post this on my YouTube and I'm gonna go ahead and post this on Twitter so I mean yeah I know that they the, uh, the developers do follow me on on uh, Twitter so I know that they're gonna see what's going on but if you come here to your quick search I'm able to kill level 17 uh, monsters okay um, but it showed me level 16, 17, and 18. I should better go in here and search whatever level I'm looking for instead of just the ones I can kill. Because sometimes there's an event, or not an event, there's quests that you got to complete. Let's say that you didn't, you just leveled up really fast and you didn't make it to uh, kill the level 13s when you were that level. You you know, you just skipped on whatever. You just, you know, power boosted yourself, whatever. I don't know. Whatever, you, you skipped them. Instead of having to scroll around the map, take all this little time. And try to find level 13 monsters, you know, going around, I only see level 14. Oh, I see level 11. Oh, there's a 22. There's a 26. There's a, oh, there's a 13. And you got to kill 10 of those. Can you imagine doing this 10 times, scrolling around the map like this? I only see, okay, there's two. All right, I'm just scrolling around. And I found two so far. Didn't take that long to find those two. But imagine doing it 10 to 15 times, however many times you have to actually kill that mob. They need to make it to where you can find whatever mob, kill whatever mob you're looking for. That would just make this game so much easier. Same thing with the nodes. Man, finding nodes that I'm looking for is horrible. Right now in my area, we only have level 4, maybe level 5. I need level 7 nodes. I should better go on this map or the search. It should, just, should just be this one little search thing. And I can just scroll all the way around here and say, okay, cool. I need only level seven not this little two three four five six that they have right here i should better scroll the whole map or not even have to scroll the map i should be able to say okay cool i want to find level seven boom there you go level seven got it 
All right. That's what you guys need to do, developers. You need to do that. It would make this game so much easier for me. I'm sure other people feel the same way, but I know for sure for me, as a player, I definitely want to see that in the game. All right, so, yeah, look at the map. I didn't really look at the map very much. But, yeah, that's that, that. Monsters and all that kind of stuff like that. Um, oh, also, I know in the, I think, previous video, I was going over the uh, Christmas map fragments. Now, with this... I was telling you to, you know, load up your troops. You know, you can have more than, you know, whatever. Like, let's say 40,000 troops going over one little thing. You don't really have to do that, guys. You only got to send one troop out there. Whenever you're doing that, uh, map fragments, um, quests, whatnot, you only got to send one troop. So every time you have map fragments, just send one troop out there. You're going to be able to collect the same amount of rewards instead of just sending 40,000 or how many troops you can carry. Just send one. All right. That's done there. Um... I got a lot of, a lot of junk. A lot of junk. All right, so, yeah, definitely want to get that stuff done. Um, now, going back to my stronghold, I'm stronghold 15 right now on this account, which I did make this one of my main account again. All right, so I'm going to let the stronghold 21 go for a little while and let it sit. All right, so with this one, I'm stronghold 15. Um, I'm almost ready to go 16, but you know, I need just about 2.2 million food. So that's what I'm doing. I'm struggling trying to get this food, man. This food is like rough. I'm at the point where I would have to actually use my gold, man, just to get this stuff, get this stuff collected. You know, I don't even have enough gold to do that. 3.3. 3, oh man, 3,300 gold. I don't even have enough. So I only got under 3,000 gold, so I couldn't even do that. But, you know, my alliance is, they're doing a lot of donations to help me out a lot. And I definitely appreciate that. And, you know, can't even thank them enough, you know, getting all those donations. Like, trucking, there's not really anybody on right now. Or I'm sure they would just definitely just, you know, help me out as much as they could. Uh, but I think there's a kill event getting ready to come up pretty soon, man. Like, I don't know. This is where I always get screwed. You see me with the six point uh, six thousand four hundred fifty two. 1,866 power right there. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose those troops. I just know it. <laughs> but there's an I think they got the gold event coming up. Oh. Monster kill stage finishes in 23 hours. Oh. So we need to get more monsters killed. Kill a level one monster, receive a hundred points. Oh, so we need to get I'm at to level 17 right now. So I just need to kill those things big time. And there's still one more day left in it, so I need to get on that. But there's an actual kill event going on right now, I think. I don't know when this one ends, this Christmas event. Let's see, Fallen Night starts in five days. Love it. Can't wait till that one starts. Gold event finishes in four days. Um, that's just pretty much just killing the monsters. Um, yeah. So I definitely need to get into that, killing the monsters. But I'm still trying to farm for this food. But I can just probably kill like maybe five or six monsters before my, my uh, stamina runs out. All right, so that's what I got for that. I used my talents up already. I got 49 more minutes so I can collect that big stash of food. I'm not building anything. I'm not collecting anything else until I get my 2.1 million food so I can upgrade this stronghold to 16. But that's pretty much what I'm working on, guys. I'm not doing any vault right now. I haven't done it in a while. Probably about a good solid week. Haven't done it, but I will be going back into the vault. Um, I just wanted to save my gold. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do the vault. I'm not. I'm just, I, I should have done this like a couple days ago. Let's go ahead and get the vault here. All right, so we got the one-day scheme. And I always do the seven-day scheme. Sometimes I do the 15-day scheme. Um, I think you got to buy something to get this one. Yeah, you got to buy. I'm not buying Jack. All right, so I usually do the seven-day scheme. Um, so you get 7% interest in seven days. And you can put however much money you want into it. If you want a 1000 or whatever. I always put 1500 Make that deposit. And I'll get 7%. So I'll have 1605 in a week. Exactly one week. 
and it works out just like that. I wish you could put more in there. Like I would totally put at least three quarters of what I got as far as gold goes into it. Okay, so yeah, seven percent is not a it's not bad, but that's gold. I didn't have to work for it. Just I have to wait. And I'm not spending gold on anything anyway, except for hammers. But I'm not using hammers right now, so I'm not doing anything. No upgrades, nothing. Not until my stronghold starts to um, sixteen. All right, so once these guys finish farming the food that I have right now, 14 minutes and also 45 minutes, I will be doing the monster event. And then hopefully my uh, stamina will recharge. And I'll do it again and again and again for the next 24 hours. And that's pretty much it, guys. Definitely like to thank everybody for their support that everybody's even given me for this, this channel. Because this is what this game is what made this channel, basically. Um, I play a lot of games, but this is the one I play with the most. Um, yeah, this one, I'll thank you guys for that. But I know there's a lot more things that are coming from King of Babylon because I know they have a lot of updates coming up. And it's like every every other week, every week or every other week, they have an update coming out. Uh, they make it better slowly but surely. Um, you know, some people like the update, some people don't. Um, but I like, the, I like the update, so definitely like to thank the King of Avalon development team. But there's a couple tweaks that they need to make with the game, and this game will be on point, I tell you, on point. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that jazz. Whatever you guys can do, everything's always appreciated, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.